this year for a change, we are on time. Last year we ran behind about an hour and a half, I think. But this year, right on time. So, uh, so our last speaker for the morning session is, of course, Matt Stewick. He's on our Horticultural Sciences Advisory Board as well. And Joe, so Dr. Sobchak did introduce Matt this morning, but I'm going to do the introduction once again. Suburban Lawn and Garden was started as a lawn mowing business in the 1950s by, uh, by Matt's dad, Bill Stewick. It was officially incorporated in 1965, and over the past six decades, Suburban has evolved into a multifaceted retail, wholesale, and service organization with three garden centers in Overland Park. One of them is on 105th and Row, and of course 135th and Monell, and Lenexa, that's a K7 highway and Prairie Star Parkway. Suburban provides lawn care and landscape maintenance services to both residential and commercial customers in the entire Kansas City metropolitan area. Suburban's customers have included the Henry Moore Sculpture Garden at the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art, uh, Kansas City Riverfront Park, and Kaufman Performing Arts Center. Suburban operates a 320-acre growing range in Edgerton, Kansas. I've taken my students there. It's a beautiful facility, quite large though, and they, pro and they provide uh, three nurseries with the, uh, with the majority of the trees, shrubs, nursery stock, annuals, and perennials they offer. They also maintain a yard waste recycling center. Big round of applause for that. Awesome. <laughs> Suburban also maintains a yard waste recycling center in South Kansas City. At its peak, Suburban will employ about um, approximately more than 350 employees, of which approximately 150 work full time year round. Now in its second generation of family ownership, Suburban relies on a core of dedicated, long-time employees who have a passion for working with plants and people. Today, Matt Stewick, who is the Vice President of Suburban Lawn and Garden, will be giving an overview of Suburban. And of course, several of my students uh, either do internships or, you know, or pursue like a, a full-fledged career with Suburban. So big round of applause for Matt. Yeah. yeah Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Uh, I, I really enjoy being on the advisory board. Uh, thank you for uh, all the opportunities to give my input. I don't know if I, you guys get as much out of it as I get out of uh, being on it, but thank you. And I'll keep it brief because I know everyone's anxious to get to lunch. And uh, I really think the other speakers are, are, are uh, uh, much more informative, but I will say if I can get this to work. Um, we've been in business for 50 years. Uh, my actual official title is uh, successor in chief. Uh, it is a family business, and uh, I'm the only uh, child who's interested in, in the business, so uh, my parents have uh, been working very hard, and I'm well, obviously uh, very proud that, uh, to, to take over for them as they uh, are still active in the business. But um, I thought it'd be good just to show people who maybe, maybe or may not know Suburban, just to give you guys a brief overview. Um, uh, we, uh, my parents started the business, like I said, my dad started mowing lawns and charging people when he was 11 years old. Um, in 1966, they purchased the property 105th and Row. Uh, this is a picture from a, a trade publication in 1969 um, of that store. It's still there today. Um, and of course, uh, in a, an article in a su subsequent publication, there's my mom and my dad, uh, if you can see them there, my, uh, in front of that store. Which is still there, and of course, it says the lawn care trend grows, and you can't read it because it's uh, blurry. But um, at that point, 1969, the lawn care boom was 20 years old. So suburban has, uh, and that kind of started after Levittown and after World War II, and people, you know, the suburbs. Um, so suburban suburbs, um, sort of a, a name that they came up with. Some people want to know why we call it that, but um, sort of gives you an idea of where we've come. You know, my parents are sort of. Uh, part of the business in its infancy. And there's a picture of my mom uh, in 1970 in our, I guess, you know, the uh, department uh, holding a bottle of Chlordane, uh, or DDT, I think it was right before I was born. Uh, and, no, and, and uh, you know, of course, that uh, business, you know, was very uh, different uh, and looks very different today. Here's what the Rose Store looks like today. And here's, of course, where our uh, garden pharmacy department looks like today. To give you an idea, that article showed that you expanded the store to 12,000 square feet. The garden pharmacy department alone at our store in Martin City is 12,000 square feet. Um, so what do we do today? You know, my dad it was a lawn mowing business, started off uh, doing that, uh, kind of evolved over the years. 
but, st but pri primarily we now grow and sell plants at our three locations, our stores in uh, Lenox, Overland Park, and Martin City. Uh, we also manufacture, bag, and distribute mulches, soils, and gravels, and a lot of that uh, is started and run out of our yard waste recycling business. Uh, we sell to a lot of uh, landscape and green industry companies, golf courses, maintenance companies, uh, landscapers, and lawn care companies. And uh, we still mow lawns and provide lawn care services, although it's not predominantly what we do, we still do it. Although the mowers we use are a little different than the ones that were 1970, um, a little more safety features than they, than they had back then. As you can see, there's the blades just uh, right over there by the seat and the uh, engine. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we still do that some. Um, uh, we may not know, we grow 80% of the plant material we sell uh, at our farms. We have two plant farms. Uh, we plant and deliver everything that we sell, and uh, we offer underground <coughs> irrigation services. My dad was one of the first people to install pr uh, private residential uh, irrigation systems in Kansas City, and as we mentioned, yard waste recycling. So uh, just a brief overview, again, started over 50 years ago when he was 11, incorporated in 1965 with my mom, named it Suburban, opened the store at 105th and Row, and then they uh, bought the farm in 1978. Uh, literally, uh, the one in Edgerton, Gardner, Kansas. 1982 opened the uh, corporate offices at 119th and Knoll. They're no longer there. It's the Menorah Medical <coughs> Center now. Uh, 1989 opened a yard waste recycling center, uh, which is still there, 139th and Wyandotte in Kansas City. Um, and there's a picture of uh, one of our earlier tub grinders. Uh, and of course, this is a tree farm in Edgerton, uh, which we also sell, or uh, grow ornamental plants there as well now. In 1990, we opened our second store location. It is no longer there because in 2002, we moved it across the street about a quarter mile away. A lot of people didn't actually realize we moved it. They just kept coming. It's now at 135th and Warnell as opposed to 135th and State Line. So it was there for 12 years. Um, and then in 2003, we added our second uh, growing farm in Belton, Missouri, just outside of Belton. And in 2011, we opened our third store location in Lenexa, Kansas. Um, so here is a sort of an aerial shot of our, our, our store in, uh, in Martin City, it's 40 acres, and we employ 150 full-time year-round employees, uh, then we add 200 to 250 part-time and seasonal employees. Um, and one thing that we're, we're very proud of, and we couldn't get by and run the company as a family business, is that we have 51 employees who've been with us at least 12 years. And, um, actually, last year we had four employees retire who had been with us for more than 25 years. So um, uh, we, uh, we really rely on those folks, even though we're a seasonal business, is a, is a core of people who are experts in, and really help us run the business uh, like family. And uh, I like the term professional farmers uh, because we are plant farmers and um, we try and, you know, that's a lot of what we really do now. So uh, some pictures of our, the people who uh, work for us in action. Um, and um, here are some things we grow. Of course, we grow all, uh, annuals, uh, perennials such as hostas and um, helleborus. We grow uh, ornamental grasses, uh, switchgrass, almond grass, trees. And of course, we have our own fleet of semis and trailers. So we bring and deliver all those plants to our customers and to our stores on our own trucks, our own drivers. Uh, we grow poinsettias, uh, we grow mums, um, we grow deciduous shrubs. Uh, broadleaf evergreens, like boxwood, conifers, and tropical plants. Um, so we're constantly, you know, in the business of trying to figure out what Kansas City consumers want. Of course, they want color, you know, they want, you know, instant gratification or, uh, you know, uh, different things. But of course, we're finding that there's always a constantly changing plant palette, uh, trying to balance old favorites and new varieties. But of course, you can be great at growing plants and have great product, but unless you have you know, an emphasis on customer service um, and making sure your customers have success, it doesn't really matter. Now, is that one of our students pushing the car? It now? could be. That picture's seven years old, so maybe one of the uh, uh, maybe more advanced students, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, that's my dad. Uh, this, like I said, seven years ago, but you know, he still works at the store, still carries out and likes to talk to customers. Um, and uh, number one complaint people have about garden centers when they poll people nationally is that, or why, you know, they ask people, why don't you go to a garden center? The number one reason they give is that 
the garden centers are dirty. So uh, I think my parents are extremely, my dad especially, um, particular about things being clean um, every, in, in the parking lot, bathrooms, wherever. So uh, our stores are, are, you know, that's what big point of emphasis. Um, and then, of course, you know, customers, like people said, would maybe walk into a store, it's 40 acres, and it's very overwhelming, is that we try and really edit choices down. Uh, growing plants locally allows us to, you know, figure out what works, and then rather than selling, you know, five different varieties of white spirea, you know, just choosing one. But also then also carrying unusual varieties. Honest, practical advice, making sure customers have success, no fault guarantees. Um, basically, you know, making sure that customers, if they don't have success, figuring out why. And of course, when all other customer service fails, um, we can we give people free golf cart rides. So, or as I call it, uh, uh, driver's ed for junior high. Uh, people get to drive golf carts. So, um, uh, retail tainment things to draw people in. So, I wanted to thank you guys for having me, uh, uh, and uh, thank you as if you're Johnson County uh, residents. Of course, if you're not, uh, we would appreciate your business. Um, and one last little plug. Uh, little being the emphasis word, uh, word of emphasis, if you guys want, we are having a free workshop at our store, get out of the cold, from one to four, there's no cost, we provide potting soil, if you bring your own container, you can fill it up, um, and here's a picture of, uh, the, we've done it for three years now, uh, it's a picture of my daughter and I in one of the past workshops, um, coming in, building some, uh, a container, and uh, you know, then you know, keeping it inside until spring. Uh, just some a nice fun thing that we're offering at our store at 135th and Morrill only tomorrow. So, <laughs> any can, any size container, I'm serious. So, anyway, it's just some fun thing we're doing. So if you guys want to do it, I appreciate you guys. Uh, any questions? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We might be closing uh, like at uh, 115 then, if that's the case. But. But no, um, yeah, it's it's a fun event. Uh, good to bring your kids or your or your friends or whatever for you know a date. Well, yeah, the plant material would not be free. It would just be you know. Something to do. Yeah. I don't know if gardening is a personal hobby of yours, but as a business executive, have you had a lot of out time, outside time, personal opportunities to work outdoors? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I have a degree in education and political science. Um, I, yeah, I love gardening. My garden always looks terrible until summer because we're so busy in the spring. People always think, you know, my yard must look great. Now, obviously, I love plants. Um, but really, this business is about liking people and liking to hear about their plants and their, their stories. That's really what drives me more. I mean, obviously, I love plants, um, you know, but, but, you know, the real passion comes from talking to people and making connections with people and remembering things like that, so. But, uh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have a real bad mole problem. I was wondering. I don't know if anyone saw that. Yeah, you want to guess what we're doing over there? Believe it or not, we're hooking up to the sewers. Finally got sewers there. Been there since 1966, and they uh, finally put in sewers in that area of town. Of course, a lot of it was to do the development across the street, uh, and uh, they. Um, you know, of course, it's at our expense, but at least there's actually sewer to hook on to. So, yeah, it looked like we had a really bad mole problem because we were marking utilities, digging up our irrigation system and so forth. So, no plans to initially do, do anything to the store other than, you know, get sewer. The bigger construction, of course, is still going on in our store at 95th and K7. So, thank you, guys. Enjoy lunch and have a great day.